what is up guys welcome back to leslie jones Carol. this reading here is for my aries zodiac sign we're going to do an overall energy reading for you so let's dive right in with the overall energy with the spellcasting deck please for aries but for the energy of aries thank you okay wait a minute that's too many we have closure strength and financial health coming out that's too many i don't want to take that many i just need one if you can please what's the overall energy for aries please what is the overall energy for Aries zodiac sign, please? Okay. What? It gave me two. <laughs> All right. I'll take them. <laughs> so we do have the strength card at the bottom of the deck. And then we have transformation and passion coming up for you here. So I'll take those two since they came out together. And we'll clarify this energy here. So Aries, I am seeing this transformation could have something to deal with, um, you letting go of some things and moving on here okay going through different different feelings different emotions here and then going after something that brings you a lot of love a lot of excitement a lot of fire a lot of passion here with the passion card and transformation so guys just remember this is a general reading so this may not resonate energies are fluid and interchangeable so they can cross and if you need to please split them so let's clarify this energy here Tell me about the surrounding energy of Aries, please. Thank you, Spirit. The Devil card is coming out. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Why is the Devil coming out? Clarify the Devil. Clarify the Devil, please. The Empress. One more. Clarify the Devil, please. And the Tower. Okay, so there's something that you've been either over-obsessing about here with the Devil, the Empress, and the Tower card at the bottom yeah ten of wands could have been something that you were obsessing about or there was obsessive energy surrounding you here with the devil the empress and the tower but something unexpected happened like this is something that divine basically came in and kind of like gave you that extra push okay that you needed um and it shook up things right it shook up things as you look at this card here the tower the crown is being knocked down they're highlighting the crown here so something that you manifested or put work in for a while it, it's been um it's been knocked down and it's because it's something i don't know if this is a relationship that you were putting in that wasn't that wasn't meant for you or that wasn't working for you with this devil energy but it's something that needed to happen that spirit felt needed to happen because you weren't on it's like you weren't going after what you deserve or you weren't going after what was meant for you here so it's like spirit had to step in and say okay let me let me give you the extra push that you need here so say for example say it's um Say you have a job that you've been at and that you're miserable at and that you want to leave. You you just want to leave, but you don't know how. You're like, I, there, I can't leave because this is my my income. This is what I depend on. This is what I, I work for and what pays my bills, right? Spirit came in and the, the building that you work for um, ended up having a flood and it shut down and um, you couldn't um, you couldn't go in and work, right? And so you had to go on leave, go on um unemployment for a while right say it's something like that this is just off the wall I'm giving an example here and um, so then you went on unemployment and then out of nowhere you find the perfect job where you can actually work from home it's something like that like there's some type of transformation going through here because the ten of wands is here so what's the ace of swords wow and the seven of wands so so whatever this is it happened and the burden is is pretty much over like it's it's the it's at the end of your burden here with the ten of wands you're at the end of the the um overwhelming feeling or carrying the load for someone here right say it's a relationship and you've been carrying the relationship and putting the energy and the time in the relationship the other person wasn't doing the work because they were the devil energy they was out there cheating creeping and all this other stuff right spirit comes in and they shake up things so unexpected for you. You're not even pre prepared for it, right? It just comes out of the woodworks. And it says, no, this relationship isn't for you. It's like they bring to the light something that you weren't seeing. And just give you like, it's like a shock to you here. That makes you change up things here. You're letting go of these burdens you've been carrying. All right. You're at the end of carrying all of these burdens here. And this Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands tells me there's mental clarity. Okay, communication, something very thought out, something planned. 
And then the Seven of Wands, putting yourself in a better position and standing up for yourself here. So let's keep going and see what comes out for you, Aries. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Aries, please. So we have the Strength card. Okay. The Strength card has came out three times for you, Aries. When I first started shuffling the deck, it came out. We have it at the bottom here, as well as the Closure card. And the Lighten Your Low card, which is that Ten of Wands energy. Okay. And then we have the Strength card again. So whatever this is, you need to have faith and have confidence and have courage to tackle this, okay? Don't fear because divine is with you here. I'm telling you, the divine is with you. Your angels and ancestors are with you. Clarify the strength card here for Aries, please. Yeah, eight of wands, forward movement, quick movement here. Clarify the strength card for Aries, please. Yeah, five of cups. You're looking back. Okay, the will of fortune is at the bottom of the deck here. Along with the Six of Wands. I knew it. Six of Wands is promotion. Okay? It's moving up. Victory. Being victorious here. Being victorious. Sorry, guys. My phone, it, the Google Assistant always pops up when I say certain words. So, this is promotion. This is moving forward. This is um, getting that getting that job offer that you've been wanting. Getting, getting the opportunity that you've been wanting. Right? Remember I just said working from home? off the wall type of ish right but we have the eight of wands and the five of cups like it's going to come in so fast for you here because it's fast movement here it's something that you're very passionate about something that you really love but see you were in this energy of looking back because it's like you became um the word they're giving me is complacent and comfortable with where you were right because you were used to it it was something you were used to but this here this transformation here is it's it's asking you to have a lot of strength and a lot of courage because it's 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 something completely different that's out of your league that you're not expecting here right but what you don't realize is this is this is meant for you this is your path and that's why things are shaking up here this is why things are changing up for you so let's pull one more clarify the energy of aries please clarify the energy the moon card so something coming to the surface that's been hidden. A brand new opportunity. Page of Pentacles. Cut for the moon. For Aries. Yeah. A brand, look at there. Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the tech bottom of the deck equal give and take. Okay. Giving something out to the universe and the universe paying it back to you. Okay. Getting your stuff tenfold here. We have the moon coming out as another overall energy. Okay, something that you cannot see. Something that the moon, only the moon can lighten up so that you're able to see it here, right? And then we have the page of pentacles and the five of swords. So the page of pentacles is unsureness, but it's something very stable. Something that's going to bring you money, wealth, finances. Uh, it's like the beginning stages of something. This could be training for a new job here. Um, it could be like an interview as well, okay? And they're, they're liking you. And then we have the five of swords, okay? And this is like kind of resentment because you're like, man, I can't believe I had to go through all of that bull crap. But yes, you had to go through this because this here... They were preparing you for this here, this page of pentacles. It's like you're going to be looking back and you're going to be saying, wow, I had to go through all of that. But you had to do it because you had to learn to fight. You had to learn to, to be willing to like cut off people that don't benefit you. Okay, but there's also some resentment here. There's like resentment like I can't believe I had to go through all of that bull crap. All of this just to get to here. You mean to tell me this? Is what I had this is where I was heading to if I would have just went like I could have I could have avoided all of that all of the tower right I could have avoided all of that if I would have just made the decision to go but because you didn't like the universe the divine had to give you you know give you your extra push okay and they're highlighting this crown to me they keep highlighting this crown if you look on the top of this card here there's a crown okay this is your crown chakra Right. And, you know, the crown chakra is all about your thought process. Right. Thinking, believing and making happen down in, in the physical realm. So you're thinking it, speaking it, dreaming it in the phys in the spiritual realm. And then you make it manifest in the physical realm. Right. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. 
my nose feels stopped up. So it's like the divine, okay, your angels had to give you an extra push and make you realize like, hey, snap out of it. You got dreams that you want to go after. You got things you want to create, right? That's the energy that that is given me here. Okay, so let's pull from the Fortune Carol card here and see what comes out for you real quick, Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries Zodiac sign, please? What messages do you have for Aries? Okay. Key, new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. See? They had to give you that extra push so that you'll let go of this energy here that you were being stuck stuck in. It was like an obsessive energy, but it was also like a complacent, comfortable energy. Like this was something you were so used to. Okay, if it was a relationship, a job, could have been a job that you hated, right? Could have been a relationship that you were sad in, you were tired of, you felt... Um, like you were being controlled or obsessed over or whatever it was, right? You had to let go of this and, and, and say, okay, you know what? It's okay. Let me put my big girl panties on. Let me put my big boy drawers on and let me move forward. But because you didn't, all right, divine really just came in and threw you out the window and was like, hey, look, hey, you got to jump now because the, the building's on fire, okay? And then we have Eagle. And it says, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. So you're definitely going through this transformation here, okay? You have the key to the new beginnings here to unlock whatever it is that you desire, your passions and things like that here. Now let's pull you a couple whispers of the oracle. What messages do you have for Aries, please? What messages do you have for Aries, please? Any messages for... Whoa. Let's see what these are. We have... Number 49, be insightful and establish. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or future. We also have number 11, persistent drive. See what you desire and move toward that goal. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimum outcome. See, there's a lot to do with your purpose here. 24, love who, where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. And then we're going to end you off. Let's do a... Um, let's see what comes out for the angel answers here for Aries. I haven't pulled these in a while. What messages do you have for Aries with angel answers? Whoa. That one just popped me in the in the lip. What messages do you have for Aries? We have within the next few months, okay, whatever you're trying to make happen here, within the next few months, progress, success, new beginnings, abundance, new opportunities here coming in for you. Okay, and then we also have ask for help from others, okay? So don't be afraid to reach out to other people here, getting some insight. And we also have a year from now at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this passion is, whatever this dream is, is coming into fruition for you. Okay, you're going to start seeing it within the uh, next few months and definitely within a year from now. You'll see all the progress that you have made. Okay, so this is your reading, beautiful Aries. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would definitely love to have you. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.